I'm Steph Loder and we're on a farm called Eclectus on Kangaroo Road um, to the north of Orange, halfway between Orange and Molong. So we've owned this property for about uh, 10 years now. We moved here full time uh, in around about uh, 2018, about six years ago. We don't have a farming background. We grew up uh, both in, in capital cities uh, and uh, you know we've been really doing our best to try and uh, become good land managers uh, over that time that we've uh, owned the property. We just love a regional setting, so living in a regional community and having our kids sort of grow up in that uh, sort of regional community versus an urban community, I think that was one of the key decision makers or the key decision points. I had uh, uh, great neighbours here that uh, really uh, took us under their wing when, uh, when we first got the place and uh, helped us, uh, you know, just understand the basics, uh, getting you know, weeds and, and sort of, uh, you know, the, the, the fundamentals of the, of the land management. We've heard about local land services doing the um, small farm management or farm management courses. So the key output from that, uh, that course that we did was a sort of a land plan, uh, sort of a strategy. Uh, you know, we ended up with a, a fantastic uh, aerial photo uh, that we used for mapping out uh, the different soil types, you know, the different status of the different regions. Uh, and we use that to think about, well, what's our vision for this property? What do we want it to be? Uh, and that really got us thinking about, well, you know, this is an area that's been farmed intensively for probably 100 years or more. Um, you know, it's, it's relatively uh, degraded. Uh, how do we improve the overall health of this land? How do we improve the, you know, the biodiversity and uh, and, and improve the sustainability of this block of land that you know we really love and we're really proud of when we, we really want the opportunity to uh, to improve it. One of the programs that we found out about during the uh, the land management course was the driving co uh, corridor connectivity program uh, which uh, came with uh, some uh, some some government funding but the most exciting thing for us was being able to tap into into, into expertise uh, that was available through the local land service. So we engaged with that program and most important thing we got out of it was the expertise, with the expertise of the people in local land services to help us um, choose what plants we needed, choose where we should put them. This has been a great project from the start. Brendan and Steph have been so willing to take on any advice, they've been so willing to try new things. They're our first landholders that have done these habitat haven plantings. Um, the way they work with their neighbours has been amazing. So we've, we've started one tree line here and then they've got the neighbours on board and they've continued the tree line down to the creek. So they're really con creating connections right across the landscape, not just on their own place. It's about 12 months now since we did the planting. So it was around about this time last year. And I must admit the first few months, it's winter, nothing grows. You're really kind of worried, are these things going to actually survive? But what we've seen in this sort of autumn period, in particular, some of the trees behind us have just shot up. And that is really encouraging and impressive because you are worried about this tiny little seedling that you've planted. Is it actually going to survive? And a lot of them have. So um, yeah, it's been really, it's been really good. Yeah, look, it's incredibly rewarding. You know, one of the things that I, uh, that Steph and I talk about is, uh, you know, how do we leave a legacy here? How do we leave a property that uh, is in a better condition than what we um, inherited in? And, uh, uh, and to see, you know, the, the, the trees coming up, to see the environment improving, uh, it's incredibly rewarding. Um, and, uh, you know, it's also given us the confidence to sort of see, you know, well, what else could this become? You know, how, how do we keep on improving and uh, that sort of continual process? Uh, so it's really given us a huge amount of confidence as much as anything else. What we're interested in doing is creating an ecosystem which is sustainable into the future, which sustains agriculture, but is also a productive ecosystem for native animals and, and native vegetation. So I think there's a, an interesting balance there that we're trying to find because we want this to be a productive piece of land and a useful piece of land into the future. The Driving Corridor Connectivity Project, funded through the Australian Government, has been able to achieve some really good outcomes, both on ground, through scattered paddock trees, tree lines, habitat havens, but it's also achieved some really good social outcomes between neighbours, working together and creating those landscape linkages.